Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mokalovar, and thank you for joining me here in Southern France. Also playing as Regional Defense Council of Iberia. So last time we pushed directly into Vichy France, and we were doing okay. We were struggling a little bit with manpower, and we're struggling a little bit with compliance. You know, things happen. Um, I think there's really not much we can do about compliance, but you got to wait for it to, you know, rise, rise, rise. So right now, the Allies are doing really well in Italy, and a little bit in Greece. The Axis is doing a very good job against a common turn. Now, Japan, well, no one wants to mess with Japan because they're actually pretty large. They're pretty massive. So, yeah. Um, beyond that, we're holding very well in Vichy France, of course, but I believe we are out of support equipment because I threw on a bunch of field hospitals for our soldiers. Let's do that. Good. And right now we're making some refineries. And then eventually some military factors, which would be incredibly important. Uh, if we're here, we could probably attack right there and be okay. I feel okay-ish about attacking this. Uh, Janos, anything? No? Cool. Yeah, they're already pretty low organization. I thought that'd be okay to do. So, muy bueno, my friends. Muy bueno. Anyone have, else have upgrades? Probably Cipriano. Lorenzo. Nope, and that's okay. And I still have these people here. I might just send them back up north. It doesn't look like we're going to get invaded anytime soon. And I might use them to continue pushing the line forward. If we could capitulate Vichy France, that'd be really cool. Really great. Alright, where are they? Oh, they're still attacking me. Okay. Not bad. We want to make sure we have enough infantry equipment for the garrisons, which would be good. Alright, very nice, very nice. Yeah, we just, we're out of motorized infantry equipment, or support equipment, I mean. Fighters and medium tanks, which makes sense. Um, Alright, if we don't really want to guard the line too well. Uh oh, resistance to occupation? Oh, Dominion. Of, oh, it's because we have Portugal. Portuguese territory. Ace by promoted, very nice. Um, and I really don't want to do this, I really don't. But this lowers compliance by a little bit. Or daily compliance gain, we should say. So be it. Martial law, it is. We need 0.7 divisions. Currently need... It's currently 70% effective. Well, that doesn't sound very ideal. Ah, oh, there you go. That's better. Are we getting invaded, it sounds like? Ah, they want to take the Balearic Islands. Or Mallorca. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking nah. Nah right now. We've got plenty of war support. What about this? Anti-subs. I mean, this stuff is all nice. We really can't do much about it. Recovery rate actually sounds pretty good for us right now, though. Let's go ahead and do that. Anarchism knows no borders, pretty much. Well, by the end goal, the end goal of our war with Vichy France, I want to take at least Vichy France, maybe, perhaps? Just because I want to get to Switzerland so I can core them. Just because, why not? Have anarchist uh, Switzerland? Sounds like fun to me. Sounds like a lot of fun. Alright, tanks, get some more organization, feel good about yourselves. Oh, as soon as I move my divisions away. Of course Italy does this. Why do they even invade me? That doesn't make any sense. Like, you have much bigger problems to deal with right now, Italy. Like, the Allies are literally taking over your entire country. But, you know, whatever. Who am I? I'm just Mr. Mokoleva. Or Senor Mokoleva. Oh, that does not look good. Out. We're getting navally invaded again. Mallorca, whatever. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem down here. But really not too much of an issue. Oh, they actually won here? Yeah, no. Send the tank this direction, too. How did they win? Come on. Uh, you guys are pretty weak right now. Take him out. Nope, you are not going to keep that away from me. How much war score participation do we have? Oh my goodness, look at the Soviet Union. They're 92% of the way towards capitulation. Well, we've got 3%. It's not much. That's better than nothing, I guess. Good. Push him back out. Please, for the love of the Soviet Union, do not fall just yet. I need Italy to fall first. If Italy can fall, that'd be great. Are you guys down here yet? Oh, you are. We'll get Almeria back. Good, and they're still trying to attack me there. Very nice, very nice. 
I'd love to attack there, but we can't quite do that yet. I want to attack here next. There was an allied invasion around here, but it failed. Look at Italy. It's so multicolored. How are they not dead yet? How are they not capitulated? Yugoslavia, you're back. You're... <laughs> oh, wow, look at the tables have turned. Now you're a puppet of uh, Croatia. Holy cow. Oh, no, they it looks like they kind of abandoned the line. I really don't want to do this. I really don't. But, uh... You know what? If they want to leave, don't blame me. Yeah, you can't win right there. That's okay. That's perfectly okay for now. Continue to take everything that we can. We're going to start, start to need to garrison some of these other areas. Oh, I'm going to need so much more manpower. We're still mobilizing, which is nice, but we're going to be stopped. We're not going to mobilize that much longer very soon. Good. Now you have to open holes here. Italy's really not doing well, which is awesome. Oh, come on, Soviets. Keep holding on for now. You'll be fine. Oh, we lost that. So be it. Uh, we're still not fighting that many French soldiers. You know what? Maybe this isn't a good idea. But you know what? Who cares? Let's reveal the cipher. More breakthrough. And can I do this? We're doing the German cryptology stuff. That's good. If the allies want to push there, I'll push here. Ah, plant the seeds of revolution. Next up, we shall do the other one. Focus. Global Defense Council. Our borders have expanded beyond the geography of the Iberian Peninsula, and the title we have given to our temporary defense council is no longer representative for all who are part of it. We will rename our organization to something appropriately inclusive of all people on this planet. Global Defense Council, unlock the seeds of revolution, transfer and coring of any foreign controlled states that have sufficiently high compliance. That sounds great. That really does sound awesome. Go and help them out, that's fine. Alright, losses. Wow, we've lost a lot. 132,000. Okay, let's go back down to balanced. Help them out there if you can, maybe. And then stop doing the attacks. We can reorganize ourselves, reorganize ourselves just a little bit. Small little push. Come on. Kill off. Like, the allies have almost taken completely all of Italy. Please take them out. Please take them out. Come on. Oh, God. Ah, Norway's coming back, too. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's let everyone get organized. Get some planning bonus. That'd be nice. How much resistance do we have here? 11%, alright, no, it could be worse. We yeah, have 30% uh, compliance, it could be much worse. 30%, 30%, 7 resistance. 8%, 30%. 29.8, oh! It's happy 1944, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Or a great January. Uh, rubber processing, very good. What else can we use? It's 1944, let's get some better planes, maybe, perhaps? The army, the enemy still looks ex incredibly weak. So, if you can... Actually, we don't even have orders. There you go. Yeah, the French are there too. Nice. Um, I'm going to garrison you in Barcelona for now, just in case we might get attacked in the south. Alright, go right ahead, guys. Keep it up. Well, Vichy France cannot do very well against us, especially since we still have our breakthrough against them. The extra 15%, which is amazing. We have full intel on them. So, we got they have 20,000 manpower, which is worse than us, surprisingly. 52 divisions. They have way more manpower, which is fine. Hopefully we can core some of these enemy states eventually. Uh, this looks really bad. Alright, go ham. Alright, never mind then. Actually, you know... What is this? Oh, it's the other army. Wait, what, why? Is there a... Oh, America is there. Oh, come on, America. You're screwing up me, my ideals here. There you go. That's a little better. Let's go right on ahead. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. And let the tanks come over here. America. Why? You know what? Can this American division die, please? Please, can that American division die? I do not want them to take Vichy France. That's so bad. Can I take Vichy? Oh, let me take Vichy. Oh, how did they get that? What? 
No. Oh, America's screwing me up so hard right now. Soft attack, sure, why not? For cavalry, at least. Take Vichy. Good picture like them. Oh, do another? Nope. And we are done mobilizing. We're stuck at 60,000 manpower. This is so bad. Come on. Oh, we took it. We took it. Are they going to capitulate? Oh, they did. Awesome. Awesome. Now, America, you've really screwed me up here. Shame on you, America. Shame. Uh, do this. You guys are all just kind of trying to figure out where we're all supposed to go. And then you guys come over here. We're going to attack pr pretty much, probably, until we're out of manpower. <laughs> That's probably the plan here. Uh-oh. More resistance. Occupation. Uh, we have, uh, we have field marshals. Or martial law, I mean. Very nice. That's okay. Actually. A Ignite Anarchist Uprising. We need 20,000 uh, infantry equipment. Connected to the owner's capital. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Very nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Make sure that America does not trap us here. I, I don't mind that they take Italy. Which they should really focus on Italy for now, but, you know, whatever. Oh, we're done with collectivization stuff. Is there a manpower going back up some more? Huh. That yeah, was a new month. That's right, it was a new month. We still need so much support equipment. Uh, make more military factories if we can. Right there. Right there. And right there. At the top, though. There you go. Very nice. Do not let the Americans through. We are doing a really good job. Holy cow. 5%. Oh, we're not winning there. That's unfortunate. Oh, we are taking over River. Give them some tanks that might help them out. No, I think Leon would be. Oh, no. They took Leon. The Allies did. Garbage peoples. Oh, the Soviet Union. They've lost basically Baku almost. They're holding on for now. That's reassuring. Alright. That's the case. Let's do this. We organize the front line. Go ahead and hold. Do not cost us any more manpower, please. Please. Seriously, stop attacking. Thank you. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey. You don't have orders to attack anymore, boy. Oh, nice. Positioned ourselves right there. Let's let our guys get to where they need to be first. Ah, good. Field hospitals. I'm going to immediately go for the third one as well. Oh, good. Oh, God. We need more guns. Um. Yeah, tactical bombers. I'm not really... I really don't need you right now. I really do not need you. Give me as much infantry equipment as possible. That's incredibly important. I'm sorry, planes. But I need that as well. If we don't have enough... Uh, infantry equipment. We're really sunk. Alright, not bad. We've taken... We've done really well so far. Actually, let me... Are you down here? Nope. Anything up, up, up top? Nope. Oh, we need a lot of infantry equipment. Oh, compliance only to be at 35%? I thought it was 40. Oh, well, I guess it would go up eventually. 31%? Nice. Very nice. Give my guys a couple days so that we can get some infantry equipment back. As well as some support equipment, which will be important. Yep, there's that modifier, which really sucks. And the Allies should be able to take out Italy. I mean, with the United States, free France, and probably the UK, having all this land in Italy, I'd be surprised if they get pushed out. Hungary's looking really disgusting, though. Really disgusting. Even Greece got a little bit more Albanian territory right now, which is good. Very good. Oh, what is it? the Germans up to. They got a little bit of manpower. They got up to 363 divisions. Uh, they volunteers from Venezuela. It's interesting. Oh, another, more division. Oh, another tank division. I love it. But I need to save manpower, so no more tanks for now. And you can save on equipment, too, by doing that. You got a lot of air XP. That's actually pretty good. What time go on? What is our intelligence doing? Decrypting... You guys are rooting out resistance. You're defending, which it makes just makes sense. Uh, defense? Oh, we're already maxed out defense. Yeah, we're already doing pretty well. 
you know, just repair ourselves. And we have a small surplus of infantry equipment, which is good. Brest looks like it's under attack. D-Day has started in Normandy once again. Um, I know I'm letting, like, time go on. Letting the allies get more of an opportunity to take allied lands or enemy access lands. That's okay, though. Yeah, they definitely stalled out here, which is kind of nice, even though they did take Baku for a lot of fuel. Ooh, this does not look good. Alright, so the allies are moving in fairly quickly. I don't like that. I really don't. We could probably win here pretty easily. They're probably going to get Paris. Cut me off from the rest of the Axis. Oh, Global Defense Council. Nice! Look at that new flag. Now let's do improve military... Improve military infrastructure. So, to reach besieged communes in time, we must greatly improve our intercommunal infrastructure. This should allow the Defense Council as a whole to rapidly respond to any outside threats that any individual commune might not be equipped to deal with. Absolutely. Our fuel's going up, which is nice. We took that place. Paris will soon fall to the Allies. So be it. Oh, they're just spreading through here. Oh, this is interesting. Um... Definitely, without U3, attack there. I want to be able to at least have a little bit of area so we can continue expanding into France. That would be really good. Awesome. At this point, I really don't want to do like crazy attacks, but do a, a balanced attack. See if you can win. And do we have planes? Yep, you're already attached. We have naval bombers, which I don't want to hurt my fuel supply right now, so we're not going to do anything with them for now. We definitely need more planes, though. Can you go a little bit more crazy? That'd be good. Because I do not want to get cut off. Good. The Germans are not doing well at, at all. They're really probably overextended. How's Warsaw doing? Resistance at, is at 58%. How is your resistance so low? Oh, what do we need? Oh, close air support? Oh, we actually lost some close air support stuff. Oh, I imagine the resistance in Romania has got to be high, but you know what? The Axis know what to do, I guess? In terms of resistance... Good, get Nantes. They ha still haven't taken Paris, what the heck? That doesn't make any sense. Where are you guys at? I'll push you guys right here. Nice. Alright, so we gotta reform this front line. Uh, I don't, I wanna say, I don't wanna say that the army is shattered here. And for the Axis. But I'm not gonna say it's not. Uh, you guys come up there too. Push, push, push. Get me Sherbog. This is one disgusting invasion, basically. Lines is at zero, that makes sense. Oh, who's up down here? Yeah, you guys can probably not attack for now. Go ahead and hold. They still haven't taken Paris. How are they not taking Paris? Look at night vision. Nice, very good. Infantry stuff, more stuff like this. Artillery is completely done. Land auction, of course, was done a while ago. Engineering stuff. I can do better radar stuff, I suppose. Fuel is okay. Extraction. Oh no, we're out of manpower. Oh no. At least take this area. That'd be good. Can we get. Par I would love to get Paris. Can we possibly get Paris? No, we can't. He was injured, that's okay. God dang it, allies. Cut these guys off, that'd be good. Oh, this is so bad, I'm out of manpower. Um, I don't want to do this. I'm going to, I need that manpower, though. A coup in Romania! Seems more modest, at least. Prince Michael's now instigated a coup. Huh. That's probably one of the worst times that you could have a coup. Oh god, we're out of manpower. Oh no. Take Shabog. Finish those guys off. Just hold it. We're gonna fix this up just a little bit more. Oh. This is so disgusting. I need you guys down here. And you guys... Oh, actually, you know what? You guys are already down here, so... I'm just gonna hang out. Get 
Dude, oh, come on, man. Uh, I have to do it like this. Send the tanks this way. There you go. That should be okay. I suppose I can move these guys up now. Since we're probably not going to get invaded by Italy. Probably? Probably? Oh, that's still this area. That's fine. Whatever. That's okay. Just keep holding for now. That's, that's okay. Alright, alright. That barely gave me enough manpower, but I need that manpower to help garrison areas. It really sucks. Go up there. Take those guys out. Then we can concentrate our forces here. You should be able to take Cherbourg. Actually, you hold. And then you support attack. That's good. We have ran a division. Nice. Get that area. What? What's our participation like? We're at 8%. Which isn't bad. Let these guys starve. That'll be good. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I, I just have to have Paris. I'm sorry. I just have to have it. Go ahead and hold. Good. Let the Allies continue to do stuff. I don't know why it's up to Anarchist Spain to push this hard. We took Paris. Great. But this doesn't make any sense. Like, come on, Allies. Like, America. Like, I'm sure you've lost a lot of guys. I'm sure, FDR. You've lost a lot of guys. I'm sure. But... Look at your manpower. Look at your industry compared to me. Like, guys, come on. Come on. I'm holding on to Paris, man. There's no way I'm going to lose that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Still can't core anything. Sucks. Ignite Anarchist Uprising. I just need guns. Perfect and remove. Create global anarchist unit in Rhineland, Mosul, and Franken. Elsass, Lorraine, Württemberg. I know what we... Oh, my God. Holy cow. We need a lot of guns. Yeah. Uh, maximize production on that for now. Lots of guns. I don't want to kill these guys off. Uh, that should be a victory point or something like that. Good, just hold for now. Ugh, come on, allies, do something. Take capitulate. Is Italy gone yet? Oh, they are. They they already have capitulated. They lost ten million. I've lost a fifth of a million. The Soviet Union. They're oh, they're barely holding on. Ninety-five percent capitulation. Oh, they're trying to attack me. That's fine, that's fine. You know, our guys are pretty good. Oh, okay there, ish. Yep, they've definitely stalled out, which is nice. Oh, God, no, not uprisings, please. 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 <laughs> please raise the compliance here. I could really use more manpower. Oh, we're so close. We're really, really close. We need to save our, our political power so that we can core these areas. 34%. Exactly 34%. Point one. Good. How's this looking? They're not losing any supply. Is that a that's not a port? I don't think there's a victory point there either. Hmm. I'm holding on to Paris. I'm not nope, I'm not losing it. Nope. Nope. Not losing it. Air stuff. Extraction. Fuel. Fuel's okay actually. Engineering. I'll get some more radar, I suppose. We're gonna have nuclear nuclear reactors soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Can I get women in the workforce? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, we need total mobilization. Ooh, that would kill my manpower. All the following must be true. Current party is not aligned. More than 84% war support. We need more stability to go with women in the workforce? How does that make sense for an anarchist society like ours? That doesn't make any sense. What? What? I thought we were supposed to make, like, women and men equal. What? Why can't we put women in the workforce? They deserve to work just as hard as any guy, right? Uh, oh. Oh, Spain. Oh, German Reich is doing better in Norway now. They, they still can't take out this little piece of Italy. Come on. It's not like my French campaign when I played as Jean III, where the Axis, which I was a, not a part of, no, this is the Portugal campaign I was thinking of, where the Axis invaded America through Mexico, and they were doing really well. But come on, come on, America. How much manpower do we need? Free France. Yeah, no. Martial law, ch champagne. Oh, maybe we could raise our conscription levels. Oh, good job, guys. Um, raise the military police levels, I should say, really. Rouen. 
Oh, we're so close. I know. We're so close to getting this. The time going a little bit more. We're going to wait for an allied offensive to hopefully pick up steam somewhere. What are the casualties like for the allies? Oh, nice. 2.3? 3.14. My goodness. Let's see. Fortify the Pyrenees. Um, Honestly, doing this stuff really doesn't matter too much anymore. So let's repair and expand the dockyards. Major dockyards were not immune to the destruction of the Civil War. While preparing these, we should look into expanding them as well, so that we are prepared for future naval expansion programs. And the next one after this is People's Fleet, which is okay. I might just do the lower resistance, uh, continuous focus. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. Out of manpower. Hmm. Yeah. How are we out of guns? Um, a little bit ahead of time. Oh, let's do military, please. That'll be important. Should have done that a little bit earlier, too. Oh, we're still getting attacked. Okay, so really, the Allies are honestly pretty pathetic. They're, they barely capitulated Italy. And I can't do anything without any manpower. Hmm. Oh, we need a... Yeah, we need to just focus on infantry equipment. Because even if we get enough compliance, we just need infantry equipment. Good. We're building a lot of it, which is good. Oh, we need steel. Ooh. Who can get steel from? Oh, I definitely don't want to have to use convoys. Oh, no one has enough steel, actually. Everyone is using the max their maximum amount of steel. Holy cow. That's a little insane. I'll put you right at the top, though. That's probably the most important thing to do. Fighters. Yeah, we're making tons of guns a day. Tons of guns. How are we losing guns? How? Uh, I guess we have a little bit of a supply issue here. Let's fix that then. Um, guard this tile. That should help supply a little bit. Just a little bit. Good. Get out of Paris. Minus 21. What is going on? Uh oh, peace conferences? In oh, there goes Japan. Okay, seriously, you can't even give me what I want? No. Norway? That's really dangerous. Oh, actually, no. Screw that. Let's do free France. Screw you, UK. Uh, I will buy four things of steel so that we can make a ton of guns and tons of everything else, too. That, help, that probably did help supply quite a bit over here, but... Get these tanks out of there, come on. They're still trying to attack, that's fine. Orlon. Orleans, I don't know. Ah, oh, there goes... That's, no, they're doing better now. Over here, the supply really isn't good. Honestly, resistance should be going down. If I have six divisions here, or I guess five, and al other allied divisions holding, like, the area... I know supply isn't very good, but that doesn't make any sense. Oh, look, another D-Day invasion. Good. Oh, yeah, America. Yeah, might as well come on through. I just need guns now. That's all I need. Uh, let's start doing some extraction stuff so we can maybe extract a little bit more steel. Yeah, that'd be good. Extract some other stuff, too. Factories, factories, factories. How are we... Holy crap! How are we losing this many guns? How? How? Please, for the love of God, show me. The supply here isn't that bad. You guys are... You guys have to be here. Um, thin out the line, I guess. So I guess I have to pull you out because you guys just want to use too many guns. Or something. Uh, guard Cherbourg for now. Wait, what the heck am I doing? You guys are fine over there. There's no supply issues. Um... Yeah, pull you guys out. You're causing issues for us. Come back down to here. There you go. Oh, and there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Like, yeah, I know garrisons take a lot of guns, but that's honestly too much. God, come on, allies. Trying to get the... AI to do, like, offensives can be such a pain in the butt. 
Yeah, they come back, take Belgium, take three France, but you know, come on, man. I wasn't expecting the Soviet Union to hold this well, though, at least. At least that's good. Italy? I didn't know your capital was Krasnodar. Huh. I guess there's a lot of Italians there. Alright, so our guys are leaving. But we still have supply issues. There's literally nothing I can do about it. Uh oh. And that's exactly why I don't want to have ships here. Avoid the Germans as much as possible if you can. That'd be good. Improve verbal processing, that's pretty good. Conversion. I wish I could get more output. More resource efficiency gain, please. How? How? My god. So basically, we're at the mercy of the AI try trying to kill off the Axis. This is ridiculous. This is honestly too ridiculous. You shouldn't need like an extreme amount of guns every single day to put down resist, uh, put out, put down resistance. Like thousands of guns are just lost every day. That doesn't make any sense. It, it makes no sense. Then again, maybe I should not have allowed the British into my lands. But at the same time, like allies, how are you struggling this much? The United States is such an industrial giant that I know it's the AI and stuff, but uh, this is ridiculous. This is too much. It's just too much. The Netherlands are coming back, though. That's good. Um, you guys are suffering from supply issues. You can't even go that way. So, instead, we're going to keep you down here in Bordeaux. Maybe you guys can help suppress some resistance? Maybe? I mean, I could just delete divisions, but uh, that wouldn't really help be helpful. <sighs> Press censorship. I could expand for steel. It does cost more civilian factories, though. Uh, I'll do one. We'll do one. Can I get some... You know, can I request at least... We're not allies, but America... Cancel military access and, and attach a... Can I get some guns, America? Oh, no, you're out... <laughs> you're out of guns as well. Yeah... I think they definitely should lower at least the amount of guns that is required to garrison an area. Because this is just a bit too much. Oh, they took that tile back. Come on, man. That's not cool. We did we did so well. We're only limited because Paradox says you need thousands of guns every day to garrison an area, which is kind of the size of France, but not really. Not really. Look at that. Look, just look at that. From garrison reinforcements. Why? Like, if anything, we could be seen as liberators. We don't want to take their lands. Well, we kind of do, but not really. Sort of. But we can core it later on. Like, this doesn't make any sense. They're an oppressor, but we're coming into we could like pretend to be liberating them. This doesn't make any sense. Look at how weak my divisions are becoming. Because you know what, I'm throwing the UK out. Get the hell out of my lands. Get the hell out, but boy, this is probably a bad idea. No, no, there goes no. You can't even hold Norway. Get the hell out, because we cannot afford this. France? Uh, I'm going to keep France there because they're holding it there. America? No. Oh, where's America? Let's see. Get get out. Like, you're just causing supply issues. But France, you can say. We like you, France. Stop sucking up so much guns. But, I'll try to rectify the situation between this episode and the next. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. You know, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we try to figure out why the United States and the rest of the Allies just refuse to push. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day.